Particular areas of land can be utilized by human in diverse ways. This can include residential, institutional, business, industrial, agricultural, forestry, park, and other relatively natural land uses. These broader categories can be further subdivided based on the nature and intensity of the activities that are undertaken. Residential land uses can involve single-family dwellings on large or small lots or aggregations of multiple unit dwellings of various sorts. The most intensive residential land uses are associated with clusters of which can support extremely large densities of human populations. Institutional land uses are mostly associated with land that is occupied by public buildings such as schools, universities, and church, museums, and art galleries. Industrial land uses refers to the siting of factories or petroleum refineries and utilities such as electricity generating stations and water and sewage treatment. This can also include mines, smelters, and mills. Land uses for agriculture and forestry. Also types of industrial land uses. In this case, evolve with the production of food or tree fiber as renewable resources. The nature of agricultural land uses depends on the types of crops and agronomic systems, which can vary from intensively managed monocultures to more organic systems involving annual or perennial crops and little use of fertilizer. Some land uses associated with parks and golf courses also represent intensive modifications of the land natural landscape. The management practices required to maintain these lawn-dominated ecosystems are similar to those utilized in some types of monocultural agricultural systems. Other types of parks, however, are little changed from the natural state of the land, and they may only involve the development of a few access roads, unpaved trails, and interpretation facilities.